Okay, let's see how we change the fill and the stroke of an object in InDesign. So here's a rectangle I drew with the default fill and stroke, which is no fill and a black stroke. So let's change the fill. How do I do that? Well, first I have to make sure the fill is in the foreground, either in my color panel here or um, in my toolbox over here. So now if I click a color in my swatches, it's going to change the fill. And there we go, we changed this to this blue. So now if I want to change the color of the stroke, I have to bring this stroke symbol to the front. So there's two ways I can do that. I can just click on it, and it comes to the front. Or I could hit the X key, and this is going to toggle them back and forth. If I hit X, now the fill is in the front. Hit it again, uh, stroke is in the front. So let's change the stroke to yellow. See what we get. And now there's one other thing these little icons do is if I click on this little double arrow here or on the toolbox, it's going to swap the colors. So this will become a blue stroke yellow fill. And I can also do that by holding Shift X is going to swap them. So now they've been swapped back again. Next, I want to talk about the stroke itself. So here's my rectangle. I have a 20-point stroke. So by default, the stroke is centered, which means since this is 20 points, I have 10 points on the outside and 10 points on the inside. Now we can control the way the stroke is aligned by going to our stroke panel, and we see the section aligned stroke. So here's my default, which is centered. The next one is going to align the stroke to the inside, and this last one is going to align the stroke to the outside. So this is not changing the size of the box, but the placement of the stroke. And we have some various stroke types. We have a bunch that were made by default by InDesign, and we can change this. And then later, we're going to learn how to make our own custom strokes. Okay, today we're going to make a gradient with InDesign. The easiest way to make a gradient in InDesign is to make a new gradient swatch right off the bat. So I'm going to go to my swatches panel, click on this menu here, and click on new gradient swatch. And here's my dialog box. So I can give it a name right away. I'll call it Tony Gradient. And now let's change the colors of my uh, gradient. So this, these guys here are called stops. So let's click on the first stop. And I can mix a new color using my CMYK values, or my lab values, or my RGB values. But I can also pick a color I already have in my swatches panel by clicking on swatches here. So let's make the first color cyan. Let's click on the last stop, make this magenta. And if I want to, I can add a stop just by simply clicking below the ramp. Let's make this one yellow. If I want to remove a stop, all I have to do is just click and drag this away, and it's gone. So to put it back, just click right below the ramp. Let's make it yellow again. And then I'll say OK and it appears in my uh, swatches panel. So automatically this changed to my gradient because I had it selected. And once we apply it to something, I can use my gradient tool to control the look of my gradient. So if I drag up and down, the gradient is going to go up and down. So wherever I start my drag, that's where the first color is going to appear. So in this case, cyan. And where I let go, that's where my last color, in this case magenta, is going to end up. So if I do a short stroke, it's almost like stripes. Now, with InDesign, we can also apply a gradient to a stroke, which is, I think, fairly unique. So watch, if I click this arrow here, I'll flip it. And now this, the gradient is applied to the stroke. 
Uh, this well, you should know there's two different kinds of gradients. At least uh, this is a linear. We can also make it a radial. If I click on radial here, now this goes from the center out. And again, I can also use my gradient tool to adjust where my gradient ends and starts. Now, another funny thing about uh, gradients in InDesign is let me draw several objects. Uh, let me go back to my default fill and stroke. I'm just going to draw three boxes here. So let me just duplicate that. Alt, drag, Alt, drag. I'll select the three of them and I'll apply my gradient. So now each of them have the gradient within them. But if I use my gradient tool now while they're all selected, watch what happens. I'm going to click here drag across them all and you can see it almost acts as one piece where I start the drag is my first color and where I end the drag is my last color okay so that's it for now and I'll see you later